Hi, my name's Rich Harrington. Let's talk about transitions. When working in Premiere Pro, you'll want to take total control over the default transitions because this could really speed up things like montages or quick audio dissolves. First off, I recommend you take a look at the preferences. And what you're going to want to do is adjust your preferences here for transitions. Notice, for example, that the video transition default is in frames. And you might be working with 24 or 25 frame material. So you're going to update that so it matches the frame rate of your project. All right, I've got that squared away. Next, let's take a look here in the effects panel. And what I want to do is choose default transition. Now there's lots of options. I'm going to go with Film Dissolve here and just right click and choose Set Selected as Default Transition. I can do the same thing up here for audio transitions if I want, although there aren't that many choices. Once you have those default transitions selected, you can now work within the sequence and you'll find two useful menu choices. Command D to apply the default video transition and Shift Command D for audio. On a PC, that's just going to be Control D and Shift Control D. So there is the default video, and there's the default audio. Let's play that. And it did exactly what we told it to do. Now, if you want to apply that to a wider range, you could do that as well. If you have several clips selected, you could choose Sequence, Apply Default Transitions to Selection. You will notice that it does do that, and if it needs to, it'll adjust if there's any issues with where the media starts or ends. What it won't do, however, is put them on a single-sided clip, so the first frame and the last frame will generally need to be done manually. So you could just move the playhead there, Command-D, Shift-Command-D, and do the same thing here at the end, and now you have your transitions on each cut. Now there's a lot more to transition, so be sure to explore the Effect Controls panel, but knowing how to use your default transitions is an important skill that could save you a lot of time.